Hello, I'm Shante Wooden, and you are watching Toilet TV. We are lucky enough today to be at Helen Crosby's home here in Grantsville, and and we are excited to learn more about your salt and pepper collection. She has cabinets and cabinets and cabinets full of beautiful salt and pepper shakers, and I don't think there are any two alike. And so, how how many salt and pepper shakers do you think you have, Helen? About 3,980. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if you would make it in, in some type of world record book for that. <laughs> definitely for Utah. Definitely for Grant. Well, maybe for Utah. Yeah. But not any place else, I don't think. And, and do you think there are any two that are alike, or do you think they're all different? I might have, like, 20 sets, 20 or 25 sets. But oh, other, yeah. other than that, they're all different. Mm hmm and when did actually let's let's just show a few of them. This one right here is a Gone with the Wind collection. And and what's fun is these are all little pieces of art and and they complement each other. So do you remember where you got this one? The My daughter got it in Texas. Okay. And here's one that I think you said your your grandchildren got My you. Grandchildren. Okay, so these are witches shoes are so cute and you fill them up right there and then you pour them <laughs> from the top I think that's so fun there's one more here that I want to show that I think and these ones are lucky out of nearly 4,000 salt and pepper shakers these are the ones that that get to be showcased this is a chef and I, I think you said you don't you didn't even remember having this one I, did, I didn't remember having that one that must have been one of the first ones because I can't remember that one. Yeah. It's beautiful. And he's holding the salt and pepper shaker there. And it's, it's just so fun, the wide variety. Do you, as I set this down, I'm wondering, do you know, do you remember anything about the first ones or some of the first ones that you started collecting? The first one, the first one I bought myself. And it was a toaster. And that was what started. So fun. And, and so how did you decide to start collecting these? Well... We'd go on vacation to Georgia, and we'd stop at places, and then I'd just see them, and th I thought they were pretty, so I started collecting them that way. And then when we moved down on Cooley Street, they had a little uh, buffet made over in the corner there where I have one, and it wasn't very big, so I asked my son to make one for me, and he made he made it, and uh, I started collecting then. So that was the beginning? That was the beginning. Okay. And so ever since then, did you just... You you looked for salt and pepper shakers yeah, everywhere you went. All my family and friends would look for salt and peppers where they went. Do you remember um, some of the places where you you bought some of them? Well, I got some in Hawaii, some in Georgia, some in Florida, Kentucky, Tennessee. Uh, that's that's Nevada, pretty good. <laughs> Nevada and Idaho. <laughs> that's about it. California. I think I already met California. Yeah, our, and that our, I got myself. Oh, oh, how many of these are gifts? I'd say about two thousand. Wow, about so half of them. About half your collection mm -hmm, are gifts. Mm -hmm. Great, it's exciting. How many uh, children do you have? Two. Okay, and how many grandchildren and great grandchildren uh, even? Four, right? four grandchildren and eight grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Yeah, they're but beautiful. I, but I enjoy them. Yeah. And that's I got a lot of money put it up in them, but that's okay. You can't take money with you anyway. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But you, memories and, and the enjoyment yes, of collecting something, yes, you can. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. That's true. And I appreciate it when somebody brings some t for me. Yeah. They usually give them to me for my birthday mm. and Christmas and other times too, but in Mother's Day. Yeah. But the other days. Do you have any memories from when you were young back in Georgia? I would love to hear about have, one of those. I just have memories of Georgia that I had to work hard. Like what? What do you mean? Because we were born on a, I was born on a farm. Oh. I had to pick cotton. I had to put in tobacco. I had to, We had to work. Wow. Every day? Just about. How Did you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have a sister and two brothers. And were you all working? Yes. Yeah, wow. my dad always found something for us to do. So did you like it, or probably no, not as a kid? I didn't like it. <laughs> I liked to put in tobacco. Oh, why is that? Well, there was a bunch. There was a group of us, mm -hmm. and we could talk, and you know, 
Mm -hmm. But now my nephew says ain't nothing like what we had to do because oh. they have machines to do everything now. Was it all by hand? All you by were hand. seeding, planting the seeds by hand? No. Oh. No. They had a planter. That oh, yeah. Pulled, a, a mule pulled the planter. Well, my dad you, done that. What would you do? What was your What was your role? Well, we had to help plant the tobacco mm -hmm. and uh, sucker tobacco. That means between the leaves, they'd, a little look like a plant would come up, uh -huh. and you had to break that off. You had to uh -huh. do that every week, go down the rows. With every plant? With every plant. Yep. Wow. Every week until the tobacco was, till the back, tobacco season was over. Wow. And then the men would go crop two or three leaves off of the tobacco, each plant, each week. Mm -hmm. And then they had, I don't know, had a sled it was called. Mm -hmm. And you put that, put the tobacco in the sled and bring it to the barn. And we would uh, oh. put it on a bench like, uh -huh. and then we'd string it. I don't know how to explain that. Wow. And then hang it in the barn. Sounds like a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. Did you ever get to play? Did you ever get to do anything fun? <laughs> Just on Sunday. What What we did you do? Off. Oh, we played jump rope, uh, oh. hopscotch, mm -hmm. baseball. Thank you for taking time to visit with us. Well, thank you. And to share your collection. Well, thank you. We will be sure to take lots of pictures so we can share it with, with others as well. Thank you. So, but it's it's exciting to see. Thank you. This, this many. Years and years of work. Yep. Yeah. But it's beautiful. But thank you for... But I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, thank you. And thank you for watching Twilla TV.